Emma and Steve here from Showrooms Online and we are at Eastfield by David Wilson Homes and this is the four bedroomed Avondale house type. This lovely looking four bedroom house you can see that grey engineering brick against that lovely sky blue render. What a beautiful house, lovely graphite windows. Without further ado let's go and take a look. Hello welcome to the Hello. Avondale by at Eastfield in Lawley. Yes. Wow. What is a, a, yes. Do you know, the, the, the house is blue, isn't it? It is. Actually, well, just look, 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 look. Look at that up there. Uh, quite a quirky little house. I'm quite excited about this because this is a beautiful four bed. Yeah, it, it is. is. It's impressive. And we are to plan. All so, right. this is your hallway. Everything nice. Off, it's, everything it's, off this, yeah. this space. Let's start in here, which is the dining room. Okay. Ooh, okay. So dining room. Ooh, there's some light in here. Isn't it lovely in the yeah. yellow? Very, very nice. So, dimensions for the dining room. 3 metres 8 by 2 metres 9. Or just over. And this is at the front of the house, facing the front of the development, isn't it? Yeah. There are actually two blue houses on the, uh, the entrance to this development. So this is nice, a doorway into the kitchen. So a nice contained kitchen. It's got a funny layout. I like it though. Yeah, I like it. Well, it's not funny, is it? It's quite traditional. There's plenty of cupboards. I do like these large drawers. It's a big hob, gas hob there with your big burner in the middle. Now I can hear the boiler somewhere. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so you've got your boiler in that corner. There's your dishwasher, so you've got your oven and grill, with the buttons that pop out, there we go, and fridge and freezer in there, okay, so that's where they are. So, dimensions for the kitchen are 3, 4 by 3, 4, so it's pretty much a square actually, yeah, and oh, we've got a utility, I wonder where the, uh, the washing machine is. And also your door to the rear garden there. So the utility dimensions, just over the two metres by, just over the one metre six in width. So is that a tumble dryer? Oh, so you have got space for two appliances. This is your washing machine, that's your tumble dryer. And they've actually got a freestanding tumble dryer in there, but I suspect you could have an integrated tumble dryer if you wanted. Lovely, beautiful work surface there with a sink and a utility. So if you look here, you've actually got quite a collection of doors all in one area. You've got your dining room door, your kitchen door, your utility door, all in this little space. And then it brings you back into the hallway. <gasps> look at the phone. Do you remember phones like this? Yeah. I do. Having to, having to remember your friend's phone numbers. Yeah. Right, so we've got the, the lovely sitting room here. Can I just use the phone? Fine, who are you going to call? <coughs> Hello, can I speak to David please? Yes, yeah, David Wilson, it's um, Steve here from uh, Shones Online. Yes, I just wondered if it's possible um, if you've still got your golden retriever. Um, it's lost its slipper out of its mouth um, and I think I might have found it on one of your developments in Telford at Lawley. Um, I was hoping if that's possible you could, uh, if you want me to return it to you. Okay, thank you David, bye. Uh, the dog's slipper's gone missing out of its mouth. It has, and the dog's lying down now yeah. as well. Right, sitting room. Is that because it's old? No, 4 metres 9 by 3 metres 6. Right, so let's talk about this room. You've got a large corner sofa there, so you've got an area there that's suitable for a corner sofa or a couple of sofas. You've got a pushed out bay. This is a nice room, isn't side. it? You've got another window here and French doors here. It's a lovely room, it's just... It's beautiful, yeah. it really is lovely, yeah. Yeah, four metres nine by three metres six, lovely. And don't forget, David Wilson Holmes, five star house builder. I am 
panning around because Emma says I don't pan around enough. No, you need to show the viewers what we can see. I don't mind you panning around. We haven't finished on the ground floor yet, so anyway. So it's quite a cupboard. It goes on and on. This I know, house. There's doors and doors and doors. So this is a cupboard. RCD box and alarm, yeah. nicely in that cupboard, It'll just like I like to see it. Socket there for your plug-in vacuum. Study with a Time Team guide. Yeah. Now I'm a bit of a fan of Time Team, you can't argue with that. Question. Question number two of the day. Which member of Time Team sadly is not with us anymore? Anyway, dimensions for the study are 2 metres 4 by 2 metres 3. I like that picture on the wall there. It's a useful space, isn't it? Home office or... That's interesting. A, Rob, a, Rob, a Robert Bryden book. Right, OK. And a book on telling tales by Alan Bennett. Downstairs WC there behind you. Window's quite low, isn't it? It's a massive window for a downstairs toilet. Oh, any, any, any bigger, it'd be a door. It says, do more of what makes you happy. Very big downstairs, Lou. So we're back in the hall there. And it's we will uh, we'll take a look upstairs. Yeah, let me lead the way. So, first floor of the Avondale. I'm going to pop my bag down. Right, I think we're going to start on this side to start with. So, this is bedroom four. Oh, it's a surprise, isn't it? So we've got a double bedroom, bedroom for 4 metres 3 by 2 metres 4. I'm just going to have a look what this door is here. I have to be honest with you, I don't like cricket, oh no. Big cupboard here, above the stairs. Question number two. I do like the interior design in here, I like the way it's Which built. artist said he didn't like cricket? NCC, oh, you're it? not supposed to answer the questions oh, for them. Okay, sorry. Yeah, okay. Right. So they've got fitted wardrobes at that end. It's got a bit of an angle to it, this bedroom, but actually a really decent sized bedroom. Look at this. Look at the clock there. Is that the real time? Yeah, That's, it is. Look, it'll be closed in I know. five minutes. Why we need to get on. Come on. Right, I'm going to leave that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're going to go in here, which is bedroom two. Ooh. Which is at Ooh. the front of the house. What a beautiful Oh, you need sunglasses room. in here. Yeah. I can see why they picked this show home. Look at that for a headboard. Oh, that would be... I'm not sure how comfortable that would be. It is twigs, isn't it? It is twigs. Twigs. Yeah. It's almost like a broomstick. It, yeah. I know some people... I know a woman who'd like mm. a headboard like that. Beautiful bedding, though. I like that very much. So, a whole bank of wardrobes along that wall. That's great, isn't it, for space? For your storage, which way do they go? They don't, okay. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, there you go. So you've got two windows, and as you can see, we're letting in lots and lots of light. Got a dressing area, there's more doors here behind the door. There we go, so that's a wardrobe as well. Ooh, or cupboard or whatever you want it. Cabinet house. This bedroom, bedroom two. Five metres two. Five metres two in length by three metres one in width. So, next door we've got bedroom three. Ah, oh, this is lovely as well. Right, bedroom three. Three metres six by three metres three. Another unusual headboard. It's got mm -hmm. a double bed in here, but there's plenty of room. They've got actually got fitted wardrobes in here as well. Presumably they're an upgrade. Um, but you have got space here at the end of your bed for your snowboard and additional furniture if you wanted it. It's got a lovely feel, hasn't it? It's got character. It? Very, very nice. This is your main family bathroom. Nicely tiled. So you've got a double shower, a bath, uh, a toilet and a pedestal sink. And a very nice slimline towel rail here, which is lovely. Very nice, isn't it? Okay, back on 
the landing then we've got oh guess what's in here the cylinder there it is and then last but not least bedroom one so this is set back on the L shape what are we above here oh we're actually above the sitting room aren't we bedroom one three meters six by three meters four you know this, I think this, like you say, I think this has got the kind of layer of the Holden. But yeah. it, 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 I'll tell you what it's like. It's like the Fiat 500. You know, like the Fiat 500, they made it bigger, mm. right? But it's still a Fiat 500. That's This is what it's like. It's just a real expanded edition of the Holden. Well, what you've got, you've almost got a dressing area then as you come in. So it's your entrance to the bedroom, but you've got all your fitted wardrobes there. Yeah. So that they don't kind of encroach on the rest of your bedroom. Yeah. You could fit a much bigger bed if you wanted a super king in here because there's plenty of room either side of the bed. Room for additional furniture for your TV, etc. And it's got a beautiful ensuite as well. The bedroom one, three meters six by three meters four. But I don't think that includes your little kind of your walk in dressing area bit. So, what have we got in here? It's got a window, lovely sink, toilet good size shower there it's a very nice ensuite isn't it i like this it's beautifully dressed this house and kind of different from what it looks like on the outside with it being blue yeah you wonder what you're going to walk into but it's actually a beautiful house it is and lawley is a great place to live isn't it mm, it certainly is I mean, well so is telford yeah. Yeah, you've got everything right on your doorstep here. It's extremely accessible with the and motorway. It is, and it is a really, really nice, nice village. Very yeah. diverse. Yeah. And so, please let us know what you think of this house. Are you looking at David Wilson, or are you looking in this area, or anything else you want to let us know about? Because you always do. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Oh, uh, and answer and comment and answer my little trivial questions. The ones that I didn't give you the answers to. No, no, yes, yeah. yes. Any uh, that I do. And don't forget to subscribe and check out our other videos. Thank you Thanks for, watching. for watching. Bye.